Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question in Status Scratch regarding reviews of Hotel Arena, both using Python and MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. This question has been asked in Airwind View and Expedia interviews, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the number of rows for each review score earned by Hotel Arena, output the hotel name, which should be Hotel Arena, review score along with the corresponding number of rows with that score for the specified hotel. So we are given a data frame called Hotel Reviews and our expected output is basically three columns, right? Reviewer score, hotel name, and number of reviews. And let's you know uh, preview this data frame hotel review. So you have a number of columns, so hotel address, additional number of scoring, review date, average score, and all that, right? So hotel name, so here we need to make sure it is hotel arena. And then we need to have the reviewer score, right? So reviewer score, and then how many rows that reviewer score has, right? So what we can do is, so I think this is very simple question. All we had to do was, you know, so firstly, we need that uh, for hotel arena, right? So we can perform Boolean indexing to make sure that we are only, you know, uh, left with rows which contain hotel name as hotel arena. So hotel reviews, right? Hotel reviews column hotel name is equal to equal to hotel arena right uh, let me go ahead and run this okay so now you have all the rows where your hotel name is hotel arena so we can save this in a data frame called df then what we need to do is for uh, this hotel we need to group by the hotel name and the uh, reviewer score and then perform a count so what we can do is we can write df dot group by right firstly by hotel name because that is required in our output right so even though we are you know making sure it is for hotel arena uh, we need that in our output right so hotel name and then reviewer score reviewer score and then we can use any column apart from these two columns which we are grouping by to perform a count right so let's uh, you know what what's the starting or what's a good uh, column uh, review date right so let's start with review date so we can use review date right review date and just perform a count Okay, and since we grouped by these, so to make sure they appear uh, in the column, we need to reset index, right? And also uh, this review date, so it will be having basically the count, right? Because if I go ahead and run this, right? So here you have different hotel name, reviewer score and the review date. So it says review date because we use that column to count, right? But it is actually the count. So we can go ahead and rename it, right? So rename, then we need to rename the columns and we need to change the review date name to whatever is required. So N reviews, right? So N reviews. It, okay, let me go ahead and run this. So now we have hotel name, reviewer score and N reviews. And we, since we don't need to sort this by anything, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it. So if it passes all the test cases, so everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding solution looks like in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at it, same question, right? Uh, table hotel reviews, expected outputs had three columns as well. Uh, and then hotel reviews, uh, the data is stored as same, the name of the columns is same, etc, etc. So again, we can go ahead and do uh, from this, uh, you know, uh, table called hotel reviews, we need to keep only those rows, right? So we need to only keep only those rows where hotel name is equal to hotel arena, right? Hotel arena, and then we can go ahead and write group by the hotel name as well as uh, what is required reviewer score right so reviewer score and then you need to return the hotel name and the reviewer score right and then basically do a count star right so that is going to give you the number of rows and i don't think we need to alias this as anything as well so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this 
okay so you have hotel name reviewer score and the count of rows so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was from this table called hotel reviews we just only made sure that the hotel of concern is hotel arena and then we just grouped by the hotel name and reviewer score to get for that hotel arena for different review scores what are the number of rows associated with it so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video